Hello everyone, my name is Heather and this is my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be talking to you about finding keywords. Now what are keywords? Keywords are the terms that you'll use to seek out information in your searches. This could be a Google search, a Google Scholar search, a database, any type of search tool and you need to have words or terms, not full sentences, to be able to find out information in your search. So on the screen, I've already created a quick form and I did a research question based on the common terms that I use in my videos. I'm always looking at teens and politics. And for this search, I also threw in social media just because it's a very popular avenue to get involved with politics and pretty much all different things in life. So my research question was, how can teens or teenagers engage in politics through social media? I talk about research questions in another video, but that's the research question. From that question, you need to pull out the key terms or key words that you would use to search in a Google search, Google Scholar search, or a database. So words like how and can and in and through those are not searchable. You wouldn't use those. Not useful. And if you type in the question, how can teens engage in politics through social media, you can put that in a Google search. It would work, but it wouldn't work very well. But if you use direct terms like teens, engage, politics, and social media, that would actually work. So what I've done is I've created a form or a quick chart of terms. But if I only do politics, social media, and teens or teenagers, well, that's one search. And so you've got multiple ways that you can find your research questions. So you can search for terms like politics or looking for other like terms or synonyms like government, political party, even going so far as Republicans or Democrats if you wanted to lean one way or the other. Then you could use connectors. We talked about connectors and Boolean searches in another video. You could do keywords like social media, social network, mass media, things along those lines. You could even look at the common term this year, fake news, if you were looking in that direction. That would take you in a very different direction on your search though, let me assure you. And then you could look for the term teenagers, teens, youth, high school students, college students, and you would want to combine those searches together. So your search would look like politics and social media and teens, or government and social network and teenagers, politics and youth and mass media, so on and so forth, or any combination of or collection of those terms. So let me show you what that looks like. In Google, it's pretty easy. Social network and politics and teenagers. Social network, since that is a term of two words, we could actually put quotes around that so that it would look for social network together. Think of that like a parentheses, and then you can do your search. Now that gave us a lot of different stuff to look at. Participatory politics, youth and participatory politics. So you can look through, you can find out more and more, you can see what you get, you can see what you find, you can read, you can collect, and you look and look through, but this would be a perfect article for what we're looking for. Participatory politics, new media, and youth political action spot on for the type of information that I would be looking for if I were doing research on youth, teens, and politics, and social media. Now, over here, I actually have a database. This is the Academic Search Premier database that gives both newspaper, periodic books, popular articles, which also fall in the area of magazines, what we call trade articles, online articles, even blogs from time to time, as well as data-driven articles, scholarly articles. I write scholarly articles from time to time, things along those lines. This is a database. This one is particularly given to you by Discus. Many of you have Discus through your public or state library, sometimes your school, given to you by your state. And so this is very easy to find if you look at your state library. Sometimes you do have to have a sign in, but if you ask for it, typically it is already linked to your school library's website or to your state library's website or to your public library's website, all of which are completely free. So again, if I wanted to do teenagers, social media, and politics, you're gonna notice a few things really quickly. I only got three results. That's a lot less. 
So from here, we have to start kind of taking things away. Maybe I would only want to look at, you'll notice very quickly, teenagers and, I can also do or or not. Most people just do and because we're typically combining searches. So maybe I would like to look at just teenagers and social medias. Then I get 300 articles. If you look over here on the right side of the screen, you'll notice you have lots of sources. You can look at academic journals. Those are data-driven. Magazines, we know what those are. Trade publications, those are going to be more along the lines of billboard information. You're going to get things that come from Instagram, web sources, Publishers Weekly, e-content, all that type of stuff. You also have newspapers as well as different reviews of articles, books, and things like that. You also get videos, images, pictures, all different types of things. So I just very quickly wanted to show you what your key terms might look like from an actual database where it is a very honed in search and paid for content where with Google, it's all free. Keywords, very important when you're doing your search. Hope this has been a useful video for you. Share if you like it. Subscribe if you like my channel. More things to come soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.